Well, a little bit warmer this morning, but Kelly, I'd say that warmer is a relative term right now. Uh -huh. Absolutely, Mitchell. And while we are warmer, <laughs> temperatures mm -hmm. still in the mid to upper 30s across many locations, but we are seeing some readings in the low to mid 40s as well. So we're uh, not as cold as what we were yesterday morning, but I do think maybe the extra layers for the kids as they head out the door for the bus stop this morning, perhaps the light jacket as well, even perhaps a light jacket for yourself for some of the adults heading into work this morning because it is just a chilly start out there. I ran the thing, my finger though on the back window of my car and thankfully it wasn't frost. It yeah, was just fog uh, this Maybe morning. some patchy mm -hmm. frost in some of the valley locations and that would probably occur across southeastern Kentucky and this is the reason why. I'll show you on the temperature map here some of the readings across the Kentucky, Tennessee, Kentucky, Virginia border in the low to mid 30s. So some of those valley locations certainly could have some uh, patchy frost develop over the next hour or two. Otherwise, we're seeing those readings in the low to mid 40s across several locations from Danville down to Somerset over to Jackson checking in at 45 degrees right now, 44 degrees there in Paintsville. But once that patchy fog begins to burn off, the sun is going to rise and that's going to lead to another nice and really pleasant fall day. Temperatures topping out right around 70 degrees. So I think as the kids head out this morning, uh, of course, the extra layers, perhaps the light jacket, a good idea, but they can toss those to the side, maybe get down to the T-shirt later on this afternoon because it's going to be that nice outside. Now, of course, our Matt and Almanac for this morning showing a sunrise at 746 a.m. Of course, that sunset getting a little bit earlier in time now at 650 p.m. And then the good news is we are nice and dry across central and eastern parts of the state. So if you want to step out later on tonight, maybe check out the waxing gibbous moon phase. You could certainly do so. Live pinpoint showing us a clean sweep across all of central and eastern Kentucky. We zoom things out for you and it's that high pressure still anchored across portions of the eastern coast. Matter of fact, right across the Carolinas and that's giving us a return flow. So we're getting those winds in a clockwise rotation that's helped pulling winds more from the south and southwest that's going to help warm us up as we head into the next two three even four days we're pulling in some of that uh, warmer air from the gulf of mexico and that's allowing temperatures to warm up into the 70s today and eventually the mid 70s as we head towards the mid to late week now here's a look at future view we start things off at nine o'clock this morning of course it's going to be cool out there and it's going to be pretty chilly throughout the entire morning. I think once we get past lunchtime or so, temperatures finally going to rise into the mid, even upper 50s. Of course, we top out in the upper 60s to right around 70 degrees today before clear skies prevail through tonight. Once again, allowing temperatures to fall back into the upper 30s and lower 40s across some spots. You guessed it, back into the low to mid 70s for highs. Wednesday, we'll see maybe a few clouds for some of our northern counties, perhaps around Rowan County, some of the surrounding areas around Moorhead because of a disturbance that's going to pass just to our north as we head through Wednesday night and into early Thursday morning and then once again into Thursday afternoon. Like I said, could overspread a few clouds, but not expecting any rainfall or overcast skies. I think mostly sunny skies do prevail for both our Wednesday afternoon and Thursday afternoon, and that it is once again going to allow temperatures to rise into the middle 70s. Look at your 12 hour pointer for today. Plenty of sunshine expected like I was talking about. Temperatures topping out around 70 degrees later on this afternoon. It's going to lead to a pretty pleasant fall day, so get out and enjoy if you can. And here's a look at that seven day forecast where your weekend is always in view. Mid 70s like I was talking about through late week, some rain chances in the forecast for your Saturday night and into Sunday before we cool things off into the lower 60s by Monday. Time now is 544. You're watching Mountain News this morning right here on WYMC.